be a new Onondaga County Executive in the next couple of weeks as Joni Mahoney moves into her new role at SUNY ESF. It's a break from political office for Mahoney, but will she be back? And what happens to the half a million dollars in her campaign's bank account? News Channel 9's Andrew Donovan has been digging in for the answer. Rod, every politician has to disclose his or her campaign finances for public knowledge. Joni Mahoney has $555,000 in contributions that her campaign hasn't spent yet. So where will that money go? Well, it's all laid out in election law. She can give it back to the individual contributors. Or she can donate it to charity as long as a family member isn't in charge of that organization. She could choose to give it to the state's so general fund or the SUNY system. Another option, donate the money to another candidate or campaign committee, maybe her ally, the governor, anybody. She can also save it, hold on to it, and let the money sit there like a savings account in the event she runs for office again, which she hasn't ruled out. Um, you know, in 2003, I was finishing up my four-year term on the Syracuse Common Council, and I had a very similar experience where I announced that I was not running. And I remember the last line in my announcement was cautioning my colleagues that I would be back. And I sort of haven't outgrown that yet. Um, there, there is a never say never. I like politics. Never say never. In the meantime, as long as money sits in the account, Mahoney's treasurer will still have to file disclosure reports to the Board of Elections. Rod. Andrew, thanks very much. Now, Mahoney has not set an exact resignation date, but plans to start at SUNY ESF on November the 1st. Legislature Chairman Ryan McMahon has the support needed among his legislature colleagues to be appointed to finish the last year of Mahoney's term. In the